Hey, what's up guys? Brandon with Taylor's Fire Smoke Cooking. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to whip up an egg roll bowl. Now you may or you may not have seen this recipe before or seen, even seen them before, but they are really, really good. They're really good if you're, if you're craving like uh, an Asian dish that's low on carbs, this is it for you. Uh, my wife, she's watching her carbs. I'm not. So I'm going to put mine over a bed of rice, but you can eat it just like it is once it's prepared. Uh, it's very versatile. You can use ground pork, ground turkey. You can use ground beef. You can use ground chicken, sausage, whatever you'd like. But it's a very easy dish. It's full of flavor and really, really good. And, and it's light. So uh, let's get into these ingredients. Then we'll get to cooking. All right. So we have here, this is a very, very small headed cabbage. We have two pounds of ground turkey. You can use ground pork. You can use sausage, kind of pretty much whatever ground chicken, whatever meat you like. We have green pepper, optional. Some uh, white onion, carrot, the whites of a green onion. In this bowl here, I have about a teaspoon of brown sugar, two, fresh, uh, two cloves of fresh garlic, and a teaspoon of uh, ginger. These are the tops of a green onion or a scallion. We're just gonna uh, use those as a garnish and add a little bit to it. We have regular soy, we have dark soy, rice vinegar, sesame seed oil, crushed red pepper and a little black pepper. We may add a little salt depending, but we might have enough of our sodium coming from our two soy sauces here. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start browning up this meat and I'll bring you guys back in. All right, folks, we are back. Now, I've just about got my ground beef or my ground turkey rather, uh, browned up. Still got a ways to go. It's not completely brown. But while uh, we're getting there, I'm going to go ahead and start adding in my vegetables. So I'm going to add in my all of my vegetables that we chopped up. Now I have a cup of um, shredded carrot, half a cup of white onion, about a half a cup of green pepper, and just under a quarter cup of the whites of the scallion. And we're just going to go ahead on and add that in the skillet as well. And just begin to break that down and let that saute up just a little bit. Just go ahead and move your ground turkey to one side of your pan. So make sure that you're using, you know, a big enough pan in order to accommodate. And we're just going to continue to let the ground beef cook. And we're going to begin to get a head start uh, with our veggies. I am going to add just a hint of salt to these veggies, to my vegetables is going to help you know, break them down a little bit. We don't want them to get soft, super soft or anything like that, but we don't want them, you know, real firm either. This dish does not take a very long time to do. Once we add the, the cabbage in there, we're probably looking at it another six or seven minutes uh, for the dish to come completely together. So it's not going to take very long at all. So we're going to let these vegetables go for about a minute, minute and a half. And then we're going to mix everything up and then we're going to start building even more. All right, guys, so we're back. It's been a minute and a half. Now we're going to go ahead on and we're just going to combine our vegetables and our ground beef. Then we're going to start adding in our flavors. Now, if you wanted to, you could, you know, season your ground turkey as you're, while you're cooking it with some granulated garlic and onion. If you'd like that a little bit more flavor, but it's not necessary. Okay, so now that we've got that there, we're going to just make a little well in the center. We're going to add in our, I said a teaspoon of brown sugar. This is actually a tablespoon of brown sugar. Two fresh, uh, two whole cloves of garlic, like, the, you know, the little pods, minced, and a teaspoon of ginger. Get that in there. Now, when I cook regular cabbage or whatever, I am not a fan of sweet cabbage. I know some people add sugar to their cabbage. I don't like that generally, but for this dish, I think it balances it out very, very well. It's not a lot of sugar. You won't even taste the sweetness in it, but it does balance it out very well. So I, I believe it's very necessary and I recommend that you do use it. You can add as much or as little garlic as you like or uh, garlic and ginger. You can actually smell that ginger now. It smells so good. All right. So now we're going to go
couple tablespoons of regular soy. We're going to go in with about a tablespoon or so of dark soy. We have our rice vinegar here. Just a couple dashes. It's going to add a nice little balance like that umami with that the, the little bit of uh, sour and a little bit of sweet. It's really, really good. And then we're going to add in a little bit of sesame oil. Now go very, very uh, light with your sesame oil. Sesame oil is very strong. You don't want it to overtake your dish. But it does add a nice nutty flavor to it. So we're going to add in uh, about a teaspoon and a half, maybe two teaspoons of our sesame oil and give everything a good mix. You want to get your meat nice and coated. The smell is out of bounds right now. It's fantastic. It smells so good. Now, as far as your veggies, you know, like I said, green peppers are optional. It's not generally something you see in the egg roll bowl, but I just like the flavor it adds. You can add a little more onion if you want to, or a little less. Totally up to you. All right. Now we're going to go in with our cabbage. Now, what you want to try to do, you want to try to mix your cabbage up as best as you can and I forgot to mention that we are going to use a little bit of vegetable broth or chicken broth in here as well that's going to help steam your cabbage up a little bit and get it done all right add in our crushed red pepper And our black pepper. Season it to your taste and to your liking, guys. Alrighty. Give it another little toss. And this is where I failed to mention that we will be adding a little bit of chicken broth into our skillet as well. We're just going to add in just a little bit, about a half a cup. Then we're going to go ahead and cover and put a lid on and let it go for about three minutes. So in three minutes. All right, guys, it's been three minutes. So we're going to go ahead and check it. Continue to give it a toss. Again, you don't want your cabbage, you know, to cook it like you're making, you know, southern fried cabbage or anything. You still want your cabbage to have a little bit of a bite to it. Similar to how when you get an egg roll. But if you're, you know, this is, you're cooking it for your home and, or for yourself. So it's really personal preference when it comes down to it. So I'm going to go ahead and get a fork really quickly and just give it a taste and see what we're looking like. You know, you may have, you probably will have to add a little bit more soy or maybe add some salt to it, depending on what your palate is craving at the time. We all know cabbage doesn't carry too much flavor at all. So you will have to add some. Uh, potentially. Let me grab a fork. All right. Quick little bite. That's good. Now, it is a little short on salt. So I'm going to add a little bit more of a bump of the dark soy. And a little more black pepper. When we're done, with, I'll probably top mine with a little sriracha. Add a little bit more heat. But this thing is just about done, y'all. It's tasting amazing. And you can always you know, add soy or whatever once plated up as well. All right. Cover this thing, let it go maybe another minute and a half, and then we're going to be ready. I'm going to finish uh, letting my rice cook, and then once my rice is done, we'll plate up, but I'm going to let this go about another minute and a half. So stay tuned. All right, guys, let's go ahead and make this bowl. So I've got some jasmine rice in a bowl. And if you know by now, I love the everything but the bagel seasoning on the rice. 
Give that a try if you have not uh, given that a try yet. It just adds so much flavor. And we're just going to go in with some nice heaping spoonfuls of our egg roll bowl right on top. Uh, you have a nice little bit of broth at the bottom. The meat and the cabbage is really moist anyhow. So a uh, nice heaping uh, spoonful on top. And let's go ahead and get it dressed up. All right, so what I'm going to put on mine, I'm going to put some sriracha on there. For a nice little kick of heat, a little bit of sweetness. I just love sriracha, and it's really good on this egg roll bowl. And then we're just going to garnish it with the tops of our green onion, our scallion. Uh, just for color, and just to add a little bit more of an onion, oniony bite to it. So here you have it, guys. It's looking good, smelling good, and I can't wait to sink my teeth into it. Let's go ahead on and get the first bite. All right, guys, so you see our bowl here our uh egg roll bowl we've got our ground turkey we've got cabbage we got onion green pepper we have some shredded carrot and you saw the sauces we use a little dark soy regular soy rice vinegar a few little seasonings whipped it up and this is what we got have a bed of rice underneath and if you know by now i love adding the everything but the bagel seasoning on my rice y'all should try that if you haven't tried it by now but let's go ahead on and get the first bite Nice and steamy. Mm -mm -mm. Man, this is good. And I like adding a little bit of extra heat to mine. So we added the sriracha on top. But you don't have to do that, but man, it, it adds a pop to it. And this is good. Don't take very long to make. It's very light. You don't have to add it to the rice. You can eat it by itself. Light dish, low carb and tastes phenomenal so hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you like comment subscribe share the video leave some comments down below let me know what you think or if you've tried it before and if you're going give it a try till the next time god bless you and we'll see you around